turn and be what you want me to be. Is that Young Gravy? Oh, Christmas is coming to town. <coughs> Santa's gonna go down the chimney. So they called me in high school? They called me uh, tuna can without the girth. Uh, gross didn't ask L ratio. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. We don't care if you don't celebrate it. It's Hanukkah, first of all. Jewish love. <laughs> so today, we're looking at most embarrassing moments that have happened to you, the viewers. We asked on our Facebook page to tell us some embarrassing things that happens on Christmas. And you can let us know down in the comments below. We'll enjoy reading those as well because Christmas can be a lovely time, but it can also be a very uncomfortable, awkward, bad time oh. if your family doesn't get along. And I wanted to know what is some of the worst things that have happened to you. And so here we go. <laughs> Casey James says, mother-in-law almost burnt the house down by putting bacon under the broiler. We had an ornament made of the picture. Now mother-in-law is getting fire extinguishers from everyone this year. Oh, way to go. <laughs> way to go, mother-in-law. Uh, from broiling bacon. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. She's a bacon broiler. Well, I guess she learned her lesson, and everyone else in the family did as well. She's no longer in charge of bacon for Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. She just wanted the house to smell like fresh bacon. She was just trying to be a good mom. Honestly, I respect it. Respect the hustle. Don't Ex respect the method. Yeah, execution a little lacking. Next, JP Britsker says, my sister pantsed me in front of the family and accidentally got my underwear, too. Oof. That's not that's not fun. That's not fun for JP in yeah. his PJs. Especially the Christmas story. It's like December, you know, it's cold out. Yeah, you probably got judged. Homie probably wasn't properly packing. Imagine she pants him and he goes, "Oh wait, hold on. It's, it, 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 hold on. Full mask, it can bro. be bigger, dude. Trust me, I'm a grower, dude. Hold on. Okay, can you do that again. I'm a Britsker, baby. <laughs> 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 you gotta see. So you gotta. You gotta make lemonade out of lemons. You gotta make hard oh, soft. Oh. Exactly. A anyways, happy holidays, everybody. Are you tired of sitting around and counting down the days until Christmas? Well, stop waiting for Christmas and get yourself a gift today. Have fun and chillax with Hero Wars. In Hero Wars, there's a character to suit everyone's subtle, unique interests. There's vampires, aliens, and even some characters of the more furry persuasion. If you catch my yiff. The game is incredibly easy to start playing, but the skill ceiling can be quite high when you implement team comps and skill strats for the more hardcore gamers. And it couldn't be a better time to join either, because the Christmas magic has come to Hero Wars. Starting December 24th, you can get a ton of presents and cool items, all while upgrading decorations to your Christmas tree as you progress through the advent calendar to learn the mysterious story at hand. Defenders of the Holiday is here for the season, and with it comes a brand new hero, the Cat Julius. This adorable monstrosity will ruin your Mondays and murder your milkman. Meow. In addition, there's an awesome feature called A Letter to Santa, where you get to pick an in-game gift you want, and at the end of the event, Santa hooks you up with the desired gift. With over 130 campaign missions, epic PvP multiplayer, unique skill unlocks, and six different game modes, the Dominion of Hero Wars is engrossed with more than enough depth to satiate any hungry gamer. Where can you get 300,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and five awesome heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars? You're out of time and your answer's wrong. The correct answer is in the link down in the description box below. Come on, play Hero Wars now! Just click the link below. Thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching now if you'll excuse me i've got a bunch of sleeping children's homes to break into i'll see you on the battlefield come here rudolph all right alex keener says my stepdad started yelling at me for not setting the table right which prompted my mom to start yelling at him grandmother and i just kind of sat there awkwardly for an hour with food on the table while they screamed and fought at least the trauma made me funny. W grandma. Yeah, w grandma for sure. Also, I mean, maybe you should have just set the damn table. Yeah, you maybe listen to your fucking dad next time. Maybe you learn how to fucking set a table. No, yeah, kidding. maybe this whole family thing is ruined because you didn't set the table right. Yeah, so I hope everyone here learned their lesson. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also like especially the, your grandma. I also like the defensive mother that was like, "Hey, stop it! He set the table just fine." And then the dad's like. I have another thing to say to you. <laughs> yeah, old son, you hold on a second. Now that I'm yelling, I might as well get it all out. And just like, yo, you probably taught him. You didn't set it right last year. <laughs> Kenny Bailey says, me and my brother went ahead and put a box full of cat shit and oh. wrapped it like a present. Okay. Gave it to my other brother for Christmas and said it was from the cat. <laughs> 
He opened it up and got cat and and the cat got confused and used the box of shit he was holding like a litter box and shit in it again while he was holding it. He just was like crying. Again. Why was he still holding it the whole time? Just, Does he not just like, oh, there's a cat. I should put this down. Yeah. I'll He's like, this, <laughs> letting it happen. Just, this is happening. He was on his lap and he was yeah. just like. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to like disturb the cat. No, the cat didn't do anything mean. You guys did. did. My <laughs> brothers suck, dude. Just getting scatted on. I re- <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> That's also a great grindcore band name. <laughs> Get scattered. Get on. scattered on. The scatters. Probably awkward for the cat. Yeah, too. I mean, everyone. I feel like just watching like the family going from like ha 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 he opened cat shit to like oh, he's just let, like he's just holding the cat. <laughs> No one else felt uncomfortable. I would have been like, "This is weird." And then he just scoops it up and just starts eating. <laughs> yeah, it. just freaks everyone out. And then it's just it's like a mental break. Starts lifting the cat's butt hole. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do. I heard this. this is what you're supposed to do. Sorry, it's gross. Abigail says, "My dad called me a bitch." Well, maybe you shouldn't have been a bitch, Abigail. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, history has taught us anything. Abigails are notoriously bitches. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it was witches, my bad. Uh, yeah, that sucks. I dated a girl once that we were there for Christmas. She was supposed to wash the dog. Mm-hmm. Watch, not wash. I'm glad you clarified. Yeah. Just in my head, I was like, wait. Watch the dog so it didn't pee in the house. Mm-hmm. But then she went upstairs and the dog ended up peeing in the house. But she it, it happened like so fast. Yeah, it happened like, like the dog knew she was gone <laughs> and was like, Oh, fuck, fine. That's exactly why they asked her to watch it, because they so, knew he was going to do that. So he comes in and starts like, Oh, this fucking dog pissed and I told you to watch. And so then she gets upset, and she's like, I don't want to watch this stupid fucking dog. <laughs> and then he's like, what did you say? And he storms upstairs, and he's they're fucking yelling, and then the mom runs up, Stop it, it's Christmas! Yeah, stop and I'm just standing there like... <laughs> Okay. And you're standing there grinning no, I, ear to ear because you pissed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was actually me that pissed on the floor. Got the Grinch smile. And so then finally the dad looks at me and he's like, you get out of here. <laughs> like, like I did anything. I told you he saw you pee on the floor. And then my girlfriend looks at me like, don't you dare. So I'm like, <laughs> so I just stand there and then the dad's like, Oh, tough guy! And then the mom, like, grabs him and, like, pull, like, literally, like, almost, like, rips him out of the room to where he, like, falls over. Because he's, like, shit face drunk. Right. And so she, like, pulls him out. She's like, fucking knock it off! <laughs> and, like, so she's, like, screaming at him now. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? It was fun. Caleb says, only awkward moment I can remember is last year I asked my dad if he was getting my wife a pair of shoes that she had been asking for. And he said no. So I bought her a pair. And we went over there for Christmas. They had gotten her a brand new and nicer pair of the same brand. <laughs> How's it feel to get cucked by your dad, bro? That's pretty funny. Yeah, I was like, I can't tell if your dad is just like perpetually shitting on you or if, <laughs> or if he just did like a dad thing where he's just like, no. I don't, why would I get shoes? It's like, and, but, yeah. like the mom did it already and he just doesn't know or care. <laughs> yeah, or he's in love with your wife and he's like, I'm gonna I'm a show him up. <laughs> oh, yeah, hopefully it's that one. Yeah, if your wife leaves you for nicer shoes like, <laughs> to your dad. <laughs> He's got better shoes, dude. Zoe says, uh, when my boyfriend slammed my 83-year-old Nan's fingers in my car boot, which I don't know how that happens. What's a car boot? Like the when they put it on the car, so you, like, oh, oh, when you, yeah. like, when you, ah. yeah. Wait, what? Ah. I don't know how that happened. Um, or the time that we walked into my parents' house and my boyfriend handed my dad the front room doorknob after ripping it off trying to close the door. There were two separate Christmases. So, <laughs> your boyfriend yeah. just sounds like a fucking asshole. I was gonna say, I was like, I, if I was ever in that situation where I was at somebody's house and I actually ripped their doorknob off, I'm like, hey, do you have like a screwdriver or something? I can put this Or like, like how like, hard like, do you have to fucking close a door right, and rip like, the doorknob? But then to go to the dead oh. here you go, your problem now. <laughs> doorknob, mm. father. So, oh, sorry, honey. I thought that was an 83 year old's hand. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I, I was slammed in the. Maybe car she boot meant to say crazy. fingers in my car door, or because like a car yeah, boot is up. is something you put on a uh, on a wheel. <laughs> I know. I'm just imagining her hands like trapped behind it. Yeah, like I don't know. He's how. like <laughs> tightening. <laughs> like, oh, please stop! He's like, you stupid. 
stupid old bitch. <laughs> she's she's on her knees like, no, stop. <laughs> Come outside your cage, you know, grandma's. Help me. <laughs> As he hands a door knob. Yeah, he's like, rip this off. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I Peace, like, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you at six, babe. Uh, Ryan says uh, he called out his alcoholic grandmother on her factually untrue and slightly racist comments at the dinner table. Nothing like 25 minutes of pure silence during Dude, honestly, Christmas dinner. I'm just going to throw it out there. This is on you. for like You really thought you were going to change a 90-year-old's mind? Like, bro, they're set. And they're, you're not winning that. Well, it's also an alcoholic grandmother. An so alcoholic she's really, grandma. like, yeah, you, set. Yeah, she's still, grandma's throwing like, up Oh, you want to go, do you, you little fucking... I've been on this planet for 72 years, and I'm not going to take no bullshit from some fucking kid. <laughs> That's a great voice. Yeah, anyone that's got the, that that uncle at you know Christmas, like this is that's it. it's on you if you fucking encourage him to continue to talk about these things. Like, I've definitely been around like old family members who have since like died, mm-hmm. but yes. like yeah, like grandmas or uh, aunts that are really old. They say things that are like racist a little mm-hmm. bit, yeah, and you're yeah, like, it's really uncomfortable, and you're kind of like okay. And then you pull out your phone, you live stream, you are oh, you're so canceled, you fucking old bitch. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to a hundred thousand people right now. It's a really, say? it's a really awkward situation because in the moment, it's like, do you say something or do you just like, oh god, yeah, yeah. like kind of just like, okay, anyways, as we were saying. Yeah, I feel. I like, don't know, like what the it, best move is there because you could ruin yeah. like the whole mm-hmm. night. And I guess it just depends if you like, because you have to realize, like, yeah, if you're bringing this up at Christmas time and people are tipsy <laughs> and old as shit and stuck in their ways, like the uh, the chances of you in this like, moment right now on the fly change. Changing their whole worldview what is I would, like very minimal. What I would say is in those situations, if you really want to say something, you should be like, hey, can I talk to you over here for a minute? And pull out the glue from the And then pull out the fucking brass knuckles and be like, listen, you fucking racist bitch! Cover your grandma's mouth, beat her ribs. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen, people right outside, you racist bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh! That's exactly how you handle it. She coughs up some emissions from 1928. <laughs> she coughs up some reparations. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm sorry. Dylan, he says, I did a lot of Christmas plays and musicals growing up. For one year, we did A Christmas Carol, and I played Scrooge. My final line was, thank you, Jacob Marley, for showing me the error of my ways. But for one of the shows, I said, thank you, Bob Marley, for showing me the error of my ways. The curtain closed and everybody in the cast are on the floor laughing. That's see that's that's kind of a win, yeah, I like think. Fun, yeah. I think it's a win. I think it'd be a really embarrassing thing if you said that and you're like, thank you, Bob Marley, and there was like Someone goes, It's the wrong line. Like he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't get it. Yeah, the awkward part is the conversation afterwards, yeah, you know, when the racist grandma is like, yeah. Did you really bring reference Bob Marley during such a wholesome carol? That weed smoking villain. <laughs> Jennifer says, Most awkward Christmas moment was when my boyfriend at the time, we had it dated for five years, got down on one knee to propose to me right in front of my whole family. I about died. They were all looking at me funny and smirking and bout made me laugh because they knew I wasn't going to ever marry him, lol. Bless his heart. He was a nice guy. Needless to say, we broke up not long after that. Just wasn't in the cards, lol. It was a nice ring though. I gave it back, lol. Merry Christmas, lol. (laughs) Oh, fuck. Uh, That's a... She has a hybrid last name too, so she's married now. Yeah. That's funny. that's 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 a big dick move to propose in front of her family. That takes balls for sure. Yeah, balls. Especially on like Christmas, it's like you're making a deal out of like an event. Well, also bless his heart is isn't that like southern for this guy's like a dumbass? Like like kind of because because yeah because like yeah she said like, I was never gonna marry. Well, so that's him. what I mean. If like he's in, it's like it sounds like courage to us, but to him he's probably just like this is makes sense. Like, yeah. It, what like it has zero courage. He's yeah. Like, no, this is the whole family. This is what I have to do. They have to give her away. I'm going to do this here. And well, and the family oh, his and the fact that that she says the family knew mm-hmm. she was never gonna marry him. He still invited him to Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I, I mean, yeah, she didn't know he was going to propose, which is tough. Yeah, which is, you know, what a, like, how unaware you got to be where you're like, I'm ready to propose. And she's uh, like, I'm actually, like, literally about to break up. That's what I was going to say, yeah, dude. Like, like, damn, either she's a great liar or homie has zero indicators of, like, what's going on. Imagine that he does that and she's just like, no, and actually. <laughs> this is I've been my meaning new to boyfriend. talk to you. This is, yeah, this, this is, is my Jason new Miller. My family has appointed me appointed. a new companion. <laughs> your, your subscription has run out. <laughs> Jesse says, nearly every Christmas, due to the fact that my sister is a Democrat and my older brother is a Republican, they both like to discuss politics and it always ends up in an argument. Yeah, the holidays are a splendid time at my house. Yeah. That's that that's right. the that's why like there should be like do you know how people have live laugh love? Mm-hmm. There should just be like politics, religion, medical problems, and they should all be crossed <laughs> out. A bunch of exes and yeah. a bunch of, and it's just like put that up. And it's like these are things that we do not speak of <laughs> when we're at like family gatherings because nobody wants to sit here and listen to your specific politics unless you're a very political family mm-hmm. and you all like will want to just talk about it no one wants to sit here and talk about your religion and no one wants to listen to all of your back problems and all of your stomach ulcers right, yeah. and everything that you're dealing with like there's 30 people here and Jemima just like <laughs> Jemima. calm calm down Caleb says grandma gave me a bag of Doritos in 2010 that expired in 2001. Uh, she said she had no idea they went bad. So she was like, ah, <laughs> shit, I forgot Caleb a gift. It goes into her garage, grabs a bag of Doritos mm. from nine years ago Sometimes. that just never made it inside the house. And here you go. So these never spoil. There's no preservatives <laughs> it's no in bag. these. It's not even wrapped or anything. Yeah, just a expired bag. It's got, like, like, fucking, like, like mouse holes in it and <laughs> shit. Leaking crumbs like, that she brings it to him. Here you go, Caleb. Yeah, I've always hated you. 2001, also, like, the, you know, the, the logo was, like, so different to oh, yeah. the, back then. He's too. probably like, what the fuck? You yeah, find what, these? What, these new? Yeah, like, oh, no, it's Put them in a box. <laughs> it's, yeah, put it on display. Like, like, you know, it, it, that's a piece of history right there, honestly. Dude, but, yeah, I, those are the moments, like, my grandma Said, not Doritos, but she's done some shit like that, or given me like a different cousin's gift or something, oh, sure. and then didn't actually have anything for me. Just like, for oh, I sure. bought, I just bought three things for your cousin, and then, dude, I accidentally gave you one of them. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't my, give you anything. One of my grandmas, she used to buy soda. That was her thing. So she would like, dude, I'm not kidding. She like in her garage, there would just be. 50 cases of soda <laughs> it would be like sprites like all kinds root mm-hmm. beer and like just loaded and so sometimes you'd find like i'd go in there for a soda and i oh this box looks cool and it'd be literally from six years ago <laughs> and like cause she bu- she yeah. like slowly she has like a soda a week but she buys like a, a fucking 12 pack a week as well what the fuck? so it's like what is she, what is so it? So she just stockpiles you, soda. And then she ends up, expire? I mean, I assume, yeah, eventually, but it takes like two years, like three years for funny. soda to expire, but it, it does. It like goes flat and shit. Yeah, so she just ends up giving away soda and then buys more. And she just always has like way okay. too much. She like hoards soda specifically. What a weird grandma um, treat. Michael says, Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, the parents were sleeping in their bedroom. The high school kids one male and one female, decided to sleep on the floor by the tree. The two high school kids were very, very horned up and decided to have a little fun beside the Christmas decoration. Lo and behold, much to our surprise, twasn't Santa that came down the chimney. Twas the young boy's mother that tiptoed to the living room to see young Rudolph on top of young Clarice engaging in a reindeer game. The Grinch came from Mount Crumpet that night. Bro, I should have thought you were improving half that. I didn't even realize that. Like, that no, that's literally yeah, it funny. Yeah. The um, Grinch came from Mount Crumpet that night. Yeah, that's what he called his cock. Man, yeah, that's a, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, it's always a very awkward thing when, uh, you know, parents are involved in any type of sexual situation. Mm-hmm. When you're, when yeah. Santa comes down the chimney, right, when you're trying to? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right. Last one. This one's a long one, but it's pretty good. No. Okay. Jasmine says every year for as long as I can remember, our Christmases have been awful. We have a slightly big family with lots and lots of grandkids. My grand, my great grandmother's small ass house fills up with everyone. Nobody wants to be there, nor does she really want any of us there. She's gotten so mean in her old age. 
Everyone sits around looking miserable and not saying shit to each other. It's all just a game of anticipation for when the biggest low-life piece of shit will come out of his room and start shit with someone. <laughs> this would be my almost 60-year-old uncle who still lives at home with his 85-year-old mommy. He's never been married, never worked, gets disability, and thinks he runs shit. He likes to run his mouth knowing he's too pussy to back it up. So in between dinner and gifts, there's usually a screaming match between him and whoever decides is his target. A couple times, it's gotten physical, and he gets laid out almost every time, lol. After my great-grandmother finishing running off whichever family member said uncle picked a fight with, and telling us all we are pieces of shit and he is an angel, we go back to the normal routine of sitting there miserable. Then comes time to open gifts. Everyone opens their gifts, none of which my great-grandmother bought for anyone. Lol. We all say thanks and disperse outside, and majority of my family break up into little cliques to talk shit about how shitty so-and-so's son's gifts were. We really know how to get in the holiday spirit. Yeah, just like, stop going. <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's fucking miserable. Don't I was thinking anymore. that the whole time reading this. So I was like, why are you there? Yeah, well, you, there's guaranteed to be a, a yelling match that turns physical. It sounds like the grandma's a piece of shit. Like, that sounds, just don't go. Let them be miserable together. They said you keep doing this for as long as you can remember. You've been doing this every Christmas. Yeah. Your parents are dumb as fuck. <laughs> Gluttons for punishment. I, I kind of understand the whole, like, the like tra tra tradition thing and trying to keep the peace mm -hmm. thing of, like, well, she's going to die soon. So like, let's just go and just, well, I know what's gonna suck, but like, just do it. That is so fucking real yeah. with families. But, yeah, but who's that even for? It feels like it's more for, selfish it's, though. It's for, because well, you get to yeah. feel good about seeing well, I it guess it, it, it would depend. I, I feel like this needs to like, just have a conversation with the old person, because it's mm -hmm. usually for the old person. But they usually enjoy it, right? And she's usually saying keyword. that the great grandmother doesn't enjoy it. Yeah. So it's like if she also doesn't enjoy it, then the gift is too and long. <laughs> you don't enjoy it, then don't go. Yeah, that's the person. So gift. that would seem the gift, right? Like don't do it. If she did enjoy it, mm -hmm. then it would be like okay, suck it up and go. But she apparently doesn't want anyone there either, and the uncle is a piece of shit, apparently, who gets knocked out on Christmas. Yeah, I think I would just buy the uncle a bunch of annoying stuff, as every year I'd keep getting the uncle more and more annoying things. Yeah. I'm like, thanks for inviting us, Grandma. Then you put down, like, a drum, a drum set. set. And leave. Yeah. <laughs> a drum set and two balls of Jack yeah. Daniels. Have fun, you old bag of bones. See you next year. <laughs> Hope you had fun. Hope you're glad we all showed up again. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, I, yeah, man, family shit can be annoying as hell, but I'm pretty thankful that I've never had a physical altercation with a family member on the holidays. It sounds... Yeah. Like, I feel like it's just like I would never get to that point. I'm like, I'm just going to leave. Like, this is too much. Yeah, I can't... I don't think I've ever gotten physical with a family member. I guess I'm lucky in that regard. I've never actually fought a family member. I've got physical with family, but not at the holidays. <laughs> at holidays, too, would be like... So, for me, that would be, like, so extreme because, like, mm -hmm. it just never happened in general. Right, but yeah, specifically... Like, but somebody specifically... Going into, a, into the Christmas tree, like, that's, that's a great weird memory to have. What about you? Do you have a, do you have any awkward my, moments? My, my uncle always makes things awkward as fuck. Him and my grandma always get into it. They have like differing political views mm -hmm. and so. The political they, thing is so real. Constantly bicker at each other. Which yeah. is so weird because it's like, you guys just stay at home all day. Like why does any of this concern That's the problem. Yeah, it's like, just they stay at home and watch TV all day and they get their, their, their little echo chambers and they mm -hmm. get their political, they get so upset about the politics which is like yeah. literally what politics is, it does. It makes people upset. It like turns you on people. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, it's, it's not so much about like if we're good, it's about how bad are they. Yeah, totally. So you're constantly looking at like the bad things that they do you know, and it's just then you get the opposite people together, and they're like, "Yeah, but you did this. You're yeah, but guy. you did this." That's cringe. Yeah, yeah. I had uh, one year, my grandma made my family sit in the like opposite room by ourselves. It's really weird. So like, so like my grandma and my cousins and like all of them. There was like six of them. They all sat at the table with our uncle and shit. And then we had to sit like in the kitchen at like the. Why? I have no you idea. sat at the kids' they, table. They were like, oh, we don't have enough room. 
And I was like, what do you mean? It's never been, we've done this every year for like our whole lives. And one year we had to sit and then they like excluded us because my mom was Is she like slowly hoarding the house? Or like <laughs> less, less room, room less be. room every time you go over there? No, just, yeah, that space was the same amount of space as it always was. But That's so weird. For some reason they're like, yeah, your guys' plates are in the kitchen. Know your place! Like, All right. <laughs> yeah, it was very strange. It was a weird year. Yeah, mm-hmm. what's up with that, grandma? Yeah, you old man. Huh? What's up with that? Leave, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, you better not. I scream when I show up with a metal pipe in your face. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a crazy, embarrassing Christmas like that. There's definitely been awkward, some awkward moments, but it's never enough to like be like right home about. Mm-hmm. Like little oh. tiny things. They're like, oh, that was an awkward minute. Yeah, that's fair. But then it like moves on, and mm-hmm. you know, it, I've never had something that was like. Like Christmas ending. It's just small, small annoyances more than more than anything. Although Christmas is at my house this year. Oh, she's so, the whole the whole fam's coming over. So maybe it's my turn to ruin Christmas. You just set traps throughout the house. Yeah. Little booby traps. Yeah. Kevin McAllister style. I'll spike the pork or something. Spike the pork? That's not a trap. Oh, well, I guess that is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> kind of trap. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Let us know in the comments your most embarrassing Christmas moments and. Merry Hollimus. Thanks for watching! Have a Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Happy Holidays! Whatever you do, I the, don't care! The, 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 the